Hey, what's up everybody? Cody from Detroit Speed here. We are back with a very exciting project update vlog episode because Kevin's 1969 GTO is back from the interior shop and it looks incredible. So we're gonna walk around with Zach so he can show us everything the avant-garde did to absolutely knock this build out of the park. All right, Zach, let's take a look at the interior on Kevin's car because Avant Garde absolutely knocked this out of the park. They really got to the heart of what we were looking for on this build. So let's, let's walk through it, tell us about it a little bit. Absolutely, uh, real quick, shout out to Southern Integrity. Drew handles all of our stuff for us and his guys. And he actually outran a hurricane yesterday bringing this car back for us. We just, you know, if it's in his hands, we know it's gonna get here safe and sound. So shout out to Drew real quick for taking care of that for us. As for the interior, um, like you said, Avant Garde, Absolutely nailed this thing, uh, it looks great. They really brought Tavis Highlander's rendering to life, you know, and they, they made a couple of changes here and there, but they were all absolutely great decisions. Um, they incorporated a lot of the, the gold trim. So I know we have the gold, you know, on the wheels and the engine. Uh, they went with gold for the switch panel and a lot of the trim rings and bezels. And just worked in a little bit of wood grain here and there too, just to kind of break things up a little bit. They knew exactly what they were doing. Real professional, great decision making. Um, we couldn't be happier. You know what some of the changes were that they made? Were, were we incorporating some silver in here? Yeah, so originally, uh, like I said, they went with the gold and all of that trim in the door panel, um, the door poles and, and the trim ring around the shifter, all that stuff was originally going to be um, polished aluminum. Okay. And they literally made the decision one night, you know, it just couldn't go like that because we just didn't have a lot of polished aluminum on the car. It really complements everything. Yeah, super well. great change. The Spark Industries steering wheel turned out really, really nice. Uh, we got that painted before it left and they finished doing the uh, the leather wrap for us. So that turned out great. Most of this interior is, is three, 3D printed, correct? Like a lot of the panels and everything? Yeah, so the, the door panels, uh, the center console and, and the rear uh, quarter trim, uh, it's all 3D printed. Printed with tolerance for leather and everything already in it, which is super cool. It's oh, just, really? Just another way like technology is seriously helping out the industry, even the interior in the interior world. Yeah, that's insane. Because I think we sent 3D scans of the interior of this car when it was bare like a year ago, year and a half ago maybe. So they've already been working on getting some of this design. So they were able to expedite the process a lot before the car even showed up. Yeah, they had a lot of the modeling done before yeah. before they even got the car from what I understood. And then uh, there were a few other pieces that they went ahead and 3D modeled once they got it that they felt would work a little bit better than you know some of the factory pieces and all that. So so these are Recaro specialists. Okay. We opted to not have the headrests installed. Kind of keep the classic look of the buckets. Traditional design and the line that goes across. Kind of like what we did with the Riviera as well. Exactly, yeah. exactly the same thing. At this point, I would say that the interior is probably like 95% done. Um, we're on a, a kind of a tight deadline with this car. So areas on the, on the side of the seat, um, the covers for those, and then a couple other little miscellaneous items they're gonna finish up and they're just gonna ship to us and get them here so that we can finish install everything. Okay, so inside the car, there are a few things that we still have to finish up. One of which we have to get our classic instrument gauges uh, installed into the dashboard. Those were getting finished up when we sent the car to Avant Garde. Um, they did a really nice job fitting the radio and everything in the dash. And then there's more of this wood grain trim that they incorporated around the vintage air controls here. You can see the nice bevel on the edge. Just really, really nice detail work on the uh, on the dashboard. And you can see more of that gold paint along the edge of that, that wood grain. Yeah, that, that wood grain is so clean. Like even though this is a modern pro touring vehicle, like it's still, I get 60s vibes from it. I yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's it's updated, but it still has kind of a couple classic touches in it, which is yeah, cool. Yeah, that's great. Uh, another example of the clean work that, that Avant Garde is, is just absolutely becoming known for is this headliner install. I mean, right down to the dome light, everything is, is just really neatly done. No wrinkles, anything like that. So we have that lighter color suede on the, uh, the headliner and the A pillars along with the visors. It just ties in really well. It, the color match to the leathers is really nice. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's definitely like a luxurious feel on the on the headliner, it's really neat. I'm almost afraid to touch it. <laughs> oh, oh. we got the nice black flocking. They, they the... flocked the, uh, the inside and that's all 3D printed too. So the insert for the console, um, all that stuff was done in their, uh, at their facility by their printer. So. Nice. Uh, so clean. This is actually one of my favorite pieces of the, the whole thing is a switch panel for the power windows and everything. Just super neat. 
I'm assuming it's driver's side windows, passenger windows, and then door lock yep. in the center. Nice. Yep. yep, really neat stuff. And then uh, the package tray is actually my other my other favorite, yeah, uh, kind really of my cool. other favorite area of this thing. It's just so simple. You know, there's there's a really, really subtle recess in the middle. Part of what I like about the job that they did is they, they worked in a lot of detail, but it's not overdone and, and gaudy in the design. You know, I think a lot of cars now are they're getting they're getting a little carried away and it's starting yeah. to look almost like a sports shoe. <laughs> you know what I mean? With all the crazy colors and stitching and all that stuff. But this is just like there's beauty in the simplicity of this. Yeah. Which I think is really cool. So aside from the package tray, we actually have one more really cool detail over here in the door. If you want to come take a look at it. So avant-garde managed to work in our logo right there in the corner. It's just a, a really neat touch, a little personalization for us. And that's actually uh, that's actually magnetic. So they made a couple different designs and you can kind of interchange them as you please. So oh, okay. that's so, a, it's a neat little touch. So if Kevin wanted to use something of his own personal logo or something like that, he could put it in there. Yep, absolutely. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's neat. We actually have something made up for, for him too. All right, I'm gonna let the guys continue rocking on with this one. If you wanna see some more updates and progress photos of Kevin's build, you can follow the link in our description below. We'll see you on the next one.